we, we, unfortunately, worldwide, we don't trust our politicians anymore. And it's a fact. It's not that I'm just making it up. So we know we can't trust our governments. And this is the very reason why cryptocurrencies are going to explode and go bigger and bigger year after year. Now, China at this moment is secretly developing their own cryptocurrency and they will soon release that. I mean, China will not release their own cryptocurrency if they cannot track it 100%. What is going to happen now is that we believe the market is going to break upwards. Now, keep in mind, the market should have broken upwards a week ago. Now, think about this. There's 21 million Bitcoins in the entire world. You can't print more, you can't make more, you can't manufacture or mine anything more. 10 million people in the world that own two Bitcoins each control the entire stack of the Bitcoin cryptocurrency market. I grew up in South Africa in an orphanage. Uh, I remember that we were so poor when I was little that my sister and I had to cut a boiled egg in half. And uh, then she had to choose the biggest side. So I had to make sure that I cut it perfectly in the middle. And uh, we used to take brown bread, dip it in Coca-Cola and eat it just to get our hunger pains away. But because I grew up in an orphanage, uh, I've now realized that I've become debt free by trading cryptocurrencies and by using my algorithm data. Now, what we've decided to do was uh, to give back to the crypto community and give our reports out at a very cheap rate. And that is why we do what we do at the moment. Yeah, absolutely, Sarah. You know, a lot of people, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on and where people say that I'm associated with the elite and I, I run the elite playbook for them and I'm employed by them. But that's it's absolutely not the case. You know, I, I grew up in an orphanage in South Africa. I worked myself through the ranks. And uh, just like anybody else on this call now listening, I had a top job working in the oil and gas industry and got paid a lot of money, but I still got into debt because the more money you have, the more yeah. you go into debt. And then you're forced to work every single month. And little that, that I know, this is the system they run to keep you employed and give you a big debt with a house and credit cards. You're not an elite I, at that No, point. I'm not. But once I got fully into cryptocurrencies, Sarah, we became financially free. And yeah. uh, we want to give back yeah. to the community. And if we can help millions of people, number one, my goal is to make them debt free, help them become debt free. And the second thing is to help them create wealth.